What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have a very special opening for you guys. We have a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist Advent box opening for you guys. I got this. It is, uh, of course, OCG version, if you, be, if you weren't able to tell already. And uh, it's the first set for Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, which is a new series after Zell. And, uh, yeah, new pendulum monsters, all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and open this. But first off, before we do, I got this from Jakarad.com. Be sure to check them out. Of course, link in the description. It's where I get all the stuff I do uh, OCG openings from and, and all that. So, yeah, be sure to check out their store. And here we go. All right. Uh, also, even using a different letter opening. Kind of fitting, I guess, for Cyber Knight, right? Uh, I thought it would kind of change up a few here and there. Uh, besides always using the Bleach Sword. I want to try to find more of those Bleach Swords. Like, maybe one of Ichigo's new sword. Spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> if you haven't been reading the manga. Yeah. Maybe I can find some more Bleach letter openers in the future. Let's see. I'm going to try to set this up for you guys. Let's... There we go. It's not wanting to, and I'm trying not to... I don't want to rip it. Well, it does not want to set this up. There we go. Alright. Now, let's see what we get. Uh, let's see. Do they actually have the tears in these anymore, or... Yeah, I don't think they do. I don't know. Do they? Yeah, they do. That one's just hard to see. I'm about to say, do I need to get out the safety scissors again that I always use? So yeah, let's go on ahead and uh, see what we get. There's that uh, Viper, like card with Viper or whatever. I for I'm going to forget a few of these names. Shadal cards. Oh, uh, there you go. Carnival Hippo, I think is the name of that one. Everyone's favorite. So yeah, really cool artwork. has got a rare. Uh, yeah, it has all the Gaga cards on it and stuff. I don't know the name of that one. Its name escapes me at the moment. I'm so glad that they have, like, hairs in these. I don't have to use those little scissors. There's a swordfish that he used. I forgot the exact name, but yeah. More shadows and stuff, too. And uh, here's a, a pendulum monster already. It's a, a normal pendulum monster. Yeah, it's uh, actually pretty cool. I think this one is one that doesn't have an effect at all, of course. You know, because the other one, even though it's a normal pendulum monster, it still has the, like, pendulum effect, but doesn't have the course because normal monsters don't have effects. Well, this one, I believe, is the one that has neither effect at all. So it just has, like, a little saying, which I can't read, of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks awesome. I can't wait for uh, those to come out. I, I like the normal monster ones. I don't know still how I feel about Pendulum Monsters just yet. I think it's kind of cool that we're getting something new, yet I know they're pretty powerful, so hopefully it won't mess up anything on that. There's a new Hippo card, everyone's favorite. I need to make a binder of this card. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, we already got a holo. It is, of course, a Reincarnation, Dragon, uh, Samsara. A Synchro Monster as well. Very cool to see Synchro cards. I'm, I'm glad too in this set, and it looks like in future ones, we're still going to be getting Xyz, Synchros, Fusions, all that, with Pendulum Monsters. And speak of the devil, there's the other normal Pendulum Monster. Yeah, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it looks pretty cool as well. Something about the normal monster half a spell card, I guess, really, like a Pendulum Monster is. Just looks cool. Also, uh, before I forget, I am using some different settings on my uh, camera, so tell me if you like the quality a little bit better. Still mess around this camera, it has so many settings. Dragon Stars, uh, Artifact. And here's another Pendulum Monster. It's like one of the Scorpion cards. I think he'll end up using this in the next episode on there. So yeah, I won't spoil anything from the episode, but I think that will be a card we're going to see. That's a total guess, too, by the way. I don't <laughs> I don't think I've even seen the preview for the next episode. Or I don't remember it. Alright, well, we're not focusing. There we go. More, there's the Archfiend card, that uh, Archfiend Feeder, I think is the name of it, or something like that. It's the one that, uh, it's getting a lot of hype lately. There's the Stella Knight, I believe that's one of the Stella Knight cards as well. That rare card. Can't wait for those, I'm wanting to test those out as well. Hopefully we get a Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. There's a Fantasia monster. A lot of people are really hyping up Fantasias, Dragon Stars, uh, there's, <laughs> there you go, your ancient card. I'm <laughs> trying to be mature. Come on. Uh, let's see, uh, Stella Knight. It's hard to always be mature about things like that, okay? I'm hoping they'll get more support in the future because, I don't know, hopefully that card will help out agents enough. Another Fantasia card, Stella Knight. See, there's one that a lot of people are hyping up, and that is Spicy. I think it's curry, like in parentheses as well. Uh, yeah, the artwork is definitely going to be changed whenever it comes over to TCG, that's for sure. But that's actually hard to get. And then once your dolls, it's like a, um, like a gusto. 
But yeah, that's uh, that was a hard to print uh, common or hard to find common. So more likely you'll, you'll only get like a one a box or so if you're lucky. There's the new like Battle Guard stuff too, Gin Monster, and yes, this is the <laughs> this is like one of the main ones I wanted for my numbers collection. Of course, number 86. It is just awesome to see more number cards. I I'm hoping that we'll still continue to see them in future sets as well. But yes, number 86. I can't wait to add to my number collection. Definitely need to do an update on that collection very soon. I'm waiting on a. One card, which we're going to be doing for opening soon, the Master Guide. And you guys know what number cards in that, hopefully. If not, well, you'll have to check out the opening that we'll be doing. Probably tomorrow, I'm sure that will be ready. Alright, more still. That's Battery Man, which is cool that we're seeing those. New card for that Battle Guard. It was cool, too, to see the, the main bad guy use Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard. Since we saw those in the original series. Like a Mosquito, I don't remember the name, but I know that's one of you use cards. The artifact, there's the other one. I think we have one of each. Evidently, one of them's a rare, one of them's a common. Will probably not stay that way for us over here. <laughs> Already hearing all kinds of the new rarities for Primal Origin, and so far, ugh, it's kind of what we expected. Shadows and stuff. Uh, I think it's one of the trap drinks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hippo Carnival, and then here's like the new Breaker. Yeah, Breaker the Magical Warrior actually has like a new form, or, or I guess brother? I think it's a new form actually to him. It looks really awesome. Kind of reminds me of like a Digimon for some reason. I don't know why. That just makes him even more awesome. Looks like some kind of dark, like Galatmon, or you know, just kind of something like that, or, or Dukemon. Let's see, what else can we get? We have another one, the uh, like the Gin monsters, like we saw from the the starter deck that we got, all the different musical XC like, monsters. Well, they got another one, so that was kind of surprising, really. It's not an archetype I would think that would get more cards to it. Pretty cool. Another hippo card, like I said, I'm going to be collecting a few of these, especially when they come out in English. Just because. <laughs> and I forgot the name of this one. This one's actually a pretty interesting card. I wish I remembered it. It's hard to... I need to really learn Japanese. I know I say that every time. Seriously, it is not easy to find time or buy the software to do that. I don't really want to buy Rosetta Stone lose $500 or whatever it is. Here's the other Pendulum Monster. I think we ha now have all the Pendulum Monsters except for, of course, Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. Uh, yeah, it's the Frog one. Another one that I think we'll see really soon in, uh, in uh, Arc 5. But yeah, <laughs> I like the artwork. I like how in a they're kind of kiddish looking, I guess. I don't know what the right word is. But uh, I'm hoping later on that they will be a little bit more, you know, tougher looking monsters. I mean, I don't mind the cartoonish looking monsters, really, because I like Toon Monsters as well and stuff. Hopefully they'll get support. Um... But hopefully we'll have some scarier looking pendulum monsters in the future too. Artifact. And there's uh, one of the Dragon Star, or is it? Yeah, Dragon Stars. And uh, yeah, it's like the draw card, which is actually pretty scary. I, I, that's the art type I'm really looking forward to. That and the Shadals, because uh, both going to be pretty tough. All right, hearing about the Shadals are kicking everyone's butts over in the OCG. We're going to talk about both those art types very soon too. Here we go, another holo card. This one is... Uh, I don't know the name to this one, actually. He has a K at the end of his name. Uh, yeah, super rare, though. Very nice. Uh, sorry, I do not remember the name of this card at all, though, unfortunately. Still looks pretty cool. And then, of course, we got another uh, Dragon Star. Or Cosmic Dragon. I, I don't know which one it is yet. Of course, it'll probably change yet again whenever they're printed over here. We'll get another name for them. See, hopefully we can get the Final Fantasia card. I don't know if that's a holo or not. There's, speaking of, there's one. And new card. It has the Pendulum Monsters in the front. I don't know what the card's name is, though. Unfortunately, it's hard to remember every rare and every holo. Or at least it is for me. I'm terrible with names. But I try. I try. <laughs> there's Fantasia, of course. Stella Knight, Jin. All these different stuff. This one looks really cool. I don't remember the name of this one, unfortunately. But the artwork's really nice. Another one of that Battle Guard. Battery Man. And, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's an archetype I actually like, too. It's one that, uh, I, was it Vector? I, I have a hard time remembering all the names, especially to the Zell people, because I haven't watched all of Zell, so of course I'm not where are all these people, but they're the 
a pretty cool art type. I, I just can't remember the name. I say that and yet I totally forget the name. I'm sure people will yell at me in the comments on that <laughs> and tell me. Oh, uh, Number Hunters. I'm actually add that to my Number Hunter binder. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a uh, kite or kaito, whatever you prefer, uh, as a card. It's kind of like Kappa Man or something. In a way, you know, that kind of idea as a Yu-Gi-Oh character actually becoming a card. It doesn't work like Kappa Man, unfortunately. I kind of wish in a way it was like Kappa Man, but for Photon Galaxy. I don't know. That might be, that might be an interesting card. If something like that actually happened. Let's see, Hippo Carnival. And here we go, Shadal Fusion. Actually, super rare. Very nice. It looks, of course, like a, like Miracle Fusion or Gym Night Fusion, all that. It kind of has the same, or like a polymerization even. Same kind of artwork idea. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have a Sukuya Mon. <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. I don't know the name, unfortunately, but it does. It reminds me of, like, uh, from the Season 2 of Digimon. What was An Ankilamon and uh, Angimon. Yes, I still remember all the Digimon stuff. <laughs> that's, like, all I watched as a kid. All right, we have Viper, of course, different ones. See, again, yeah, this is one of the cards we've already seen that I don't remember it, but it is a uh, field spell. It looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I don't know what else we're missing on Hollows. You know, what else we're supposed to be getting? We'll have to just see, I guess. Well, speak of the devil. Here we go. Secret Rare. Oh, man. Secret looks so cool in the OCG. Let's see. This card is... Uh, uh, Sapphiria the Dragon Princess, I believe is how you say the name. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. Secret Rares, though, look so awesome, even the OCG. I'm hoping, though, uh, I've heard that uh, some of the the holographic styles is changing in this set, too. Like, the Ultra Rare kind of looks a little different and stuff, too. Supposedly, I didn't really notice it with uh, number 86. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping maybe that means some of ours over here in TCG will look a little bit better. I like this style of Secret Rare. Maybe even the Platinum Secret Rare will look better in this, or similar as well, that we'll be getting uh, in August, I believe. So, yeah, that looks so awesome. I can't wait to see what this card's going to do. It's pretty cool. I, first off, I like seeing a Ritual Monster. I mean, not only that, but a really powerful monster that I guess you combo... I think what people are doing is using it with Light Swords, of course, so... Yeah, I can't wait to see what it's going to do in the meta. But yeah, here's another one, the Pendulum Knight Light Cards. Normal Pendulum. Hopefully we can get uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. That's one of the main ones I want just because, you know, uh, main character is like Ace Monster. You gotta have that. There's the other Normal Pendulum. There we go. Those kind of go together now, don't they? <laughs> Thanks for what happened last time, too. I got the first one, then the other one came in the next pack right after. Alright, let's see. We have... Uh, I knew we had something, because for some reason I was just thinking... I thought I saw a little bit of hollow. And that is the... It's a Stellanite Ultra Rare card. It looks pretty nice as well. They they look a lot like Constellars. And I guess... I don't know if it's really being affirmed or not. If they're like a new form of Constellars in a way. I don't know. They are kind of their own archetype, though. And uh, another archetype... Yet again, I know I'm going to say it again. Another one that I want to build a deck around. Because I think they're pretty cool. Artwork's really nice on those two. And they're knights. You know, they have knight in their name, so close enough for me. There's the other uh, pendulum, the scorpion. I think we already got one of those. That means we should get the frog next. Oh. <laughs> Pack's falling to pieces. Another Fantasia. I guess we're not going to be getting the other one. I don't know if it's... I guess it's like super or something. One of the Stella Knight cards. I believe that's one of the Stella Knight cards, if I'm not mistaken. There's Mosquito again with the little top hat. <laughs> Can't beat that. That's it all. Let's see how many... Oh, one pack left. All right. Can we get another hollow? I don't know if we're supposed to or not, but uh, let's see. Doesn't look like I'll be getting the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, unfortunately, though. But I guess maybe our luck will change in this pack. We'll see. All right. We have Battery Man, and, oh, unfortunately we didn't end with the Hollow, but we got a Stellanite. Those look pretty cool. But yeah, uh, we got some really cool Hollows. I'm glad I got the number card. That was, like, one of the main things I wanted from this set. And other than that, I mean, we got some really awesome cards. An awesome Secret Rare. I mean, <laughs> just that holographic. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but dang, that looks awesome. Looks like a little light show going on behind it <laughs> with all those. And Shadow all Fusion. I mean, I don't, unfortunately, again, don't remember the name of that card. But our number card and all two... That's, that's pretty awesome. 
So we were able to get some uh, synchros, you know, uh, XCs and rituals and all in one pack, or one box like that. That's pretty awesome. All we needed was a fusion. We should have got the Shadal fusion. It would have, like, just about every type of extra deck card out there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, thank you for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe. Tell me what other openings you want to see in the future. There's still plenty of stuff out there, you know, we can do openings for, whether it be, you know, Japanese or English, of course. I want to hear the requests. And be sure to check out Jokarad.com. It's where I get all the stuff, uh, all the Japanese cards I open and stuff. And uh, yeah, can't wait for this set to come out in English, and I hope you guys are just excited as I am. Alright, later guys.